getting successful, getting successful, it's not a magic trick. I visualize a lot. I don't go out there to prove anything to anyone. It's a different kind of high. I mean, that's something, it's like a drug. You want to, you know, go after that feeling again and again. You know, that feeling of victory. That's something that you can't experience without, you know, actually being in the moment. I go out there to compete. I go out there to win the game. At the crease when I'm batting, that's where I'm closest to myself. I don't worry about anyone else around me. I hate losing. There's no point putting in so much effort into one thing and then not have the desire to be the best. You have to have that kind of belief. You shouldn't forget it along the way that what made you pick up that bat and actually go out there and wanting to hit that ball. That feeling is something close to me still and so if I've sacrificed so much in my life to do what I'm doing now, I want to be the best that I can be. It's, it's hard for me to believe sometimes as well that you know I've, I've uh, got these many uh, centuries in international cricket or one day cricket separately and I just I just try to forget that moment quickly because I don't want to uh, you know think about it too much and then start doubting myself thinking that it's come too early for me because I, I uh, want to achieve something really big and I want to be you know known as a player who won a lot of games for India and uh, who scored a lot of runs for the country so um, I, I get that thought and I let go of it because then I sit down and think all the greats of the game they start doing that at a very early age so it's not such a bad thing to start doing that when you're young and uh, you know along the lines you keep learning and you'll have phases but as long as you can stay consistent I think that's that's a very good thing. <laughs>